Good morning, everyone, and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, prospective mothers, and mothers-to-be, mothers who mothers children. Happy Mother's Day. One of the most enjoyable thing I can recall of my mother is the wisdom and her faith and her patience towards her children. She value everything that is godly. She walk with the Lord, pray for her children, and impart on them godly knowledge. And that is one of the things that I trust today because of our faith, it is passed on to me and my other siblings. My prayer today and our prayer always is to see all of our children come to know the Lord as Savior. She has four out of seven serving the Lord. Our prayer is that the other three before the Lord come and call, they would come to know God as Savior. I pray that the Lord would keep her, even as we pray together for families, for friends, and for other persons that do not know God. We pray to God that before she, you're ready for her, she would see that fruit. So may God bless her today, and may she continue to be strengthened with your love. I love you, Mom, with the love of God. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers here. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day today and that you get some nice, good treatment later. My mother, let me just give you some context. Um, when my mother found out that she was pregnant with me, she already had two boys and she said, okay, I'm not going to check for the gender of this child because next thing you know, it's a third boy and she didn't want that. So she waited until I was born to find out that she had a bouncing baby girl. <laughs> And ever since then, I've been, anybody who knows me since I was a child, I've always been behind my mother. I've been called her shadow, her tail, her handbag, et cetera, et cetera. And when I was 10, year, 10 years old, she got saved. And I remember the hymn that really stood out to her was, I am resolved, no longer to linger, charmed by the world's delight. Things that are higher, things that are nobler, these have allured my sight, and it was the truth. She made, sh she made a strong commitment to serve the Lord, and she made sure that she carried me along with her. When church was open, she was there, and so was I. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and when I became a teenager, youth meeting on Friday, and any other time that the church doors were open. She also encouraged me by word and by example to do the things that please the Lord. Being involved in church, um, giving to the Lord as well in time and talents and even money. And that has made a mark in my life even to this day. I got saved when I was 14 years old, and I'm almost 40 now. And so God has really kept me, and it is her example that he used. It was not always easy for her to be that godly example, because any woman in here who is a Christian mother and is married to an unsaved man, it becomes difficult from time to time. Not that the man is wicked and awful, but the, ch the children usually lean toward the parent who is not as strict or the one the, ch the, the parent who gives least, least resistance and in that case that was that's the, the unsaved parent and so there were struggles but my mother kept at it and she kept going she kept encouraging me she kept living a christian example for me and it is my prayer that you know those of us who are, those of you <laughs> 
who are with us this morning, that you will be encouraged to stand with the Lord, to raise your children in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord, even though it gets difficult. And I know that God will bless you in due season. God bless you.